Grade 3 Math, number 113, Angle, Vertex, Right Angle. If you saw the previous video, number 112, it will help you a lot. So, let's see what we're talking about here. We're going to talk about these three things, angle, vertex, and right angle. The first thing is angle, and it's made of two rays and one endpoint. A ray is a line segment that has an endpoint and an arrow at the other end that continues on and on. When you have two of them that meet at an endpoint, the space inside of here is the angle. See? That's the angle. There's two rays, one endpoint, and an angle. The endpoint where the two rays meet is called the vertex. Vertex. See that? Vertex with the X. That little tiny point right here where they meet. Okay? When you have one of them, it's called a vertex. When you have two or more, it's called vertices. Okay? So here's one vertex, here's two vertices. Okay? All right. So we talked about angle and vertex. Let's see what else we can talk about them. Here's a triangle. All right? Let's see how many angles, how many line segments, and how many vertices there are. First, how many angles do you see? Well, there's an angle inside of here, there's an angle inside of here, and there's an angle inside of here. So there's three angles. Can you see them? One, two, three. How many line segments are in the triangle? There's one line segment, two line segment, three line segment. There's three line segments. Now, how many vertices are there? Remember, that's the plural for vertex. One vertex, two vertices, three vertices. There's one here, there's one here, and there's one here. It's where these line segments meet at the endpoints. So a triangle has three angles, three line segments, and three vertices. What if we had a square? How many angles would be in the square? Okay, we got an angle here, we got an angle here, we got an angle here, and we got an angle there. So that's four angles. How many line segments do you see? One line segment, two line segment, three line segment, four line segment. How many vertices do you see? One, two, three, four. There's four vertices, four endpoints. Okay? So a triangle has three of these. A square has four of them. Well, a triangle has three sides, and a square has four sides. Now look at the corners of this square compared to the corners of this triangle. See how the corner of the triangle is sort of closed compared to the corner of the square? Well, the square has got what's called a right angle, and it forms at the square's corner. See that? In fact, in geometry, they even put this little shape like this into the corner to show you that it's a right angle. The corner is straight up and straight to the side. So, if you were to look at these angles, can you see the right angles? This one goes straight up and straight to the side, and yes, it is a right angle. Does this one go straight up and straight to the side? No, it's kind of bent inward, isn't it? So that's not a right angle. How about this one? Does it go straight up and straight to the side? Nope. So even if we tilted our camera this way and said it went straight up, it doesn't go straight to the side. So that's not a right angle either. How about this one? Does it go straight and then straight to the side? Well, it doesn't go straight up, but it goes straight down. See that? So yes, this is a right angle because it's making this squarey box shape. So that is a right angle. How about this one? Is that a right angle? Well, let's tilt the camera and then look at it. Look at that. It is a right angle. See that? So sometimes it may not look like a right angle when you directly look at it, but if you were to straighten out 
your viewpoint, you'd see, yes, that is a right angle. So a right angle forms at a square's corner. There are vertexes at the endpoints where the line segments meet, and the angle is the inside of two rays or two line segments. That wasn't that hard, was it? Now, if you like what we're talking about, which is geometry, and you're interested to know more about geometry, because we have only got a few more videos to go. I think we're going up to 120. So there's only seven more to go, six more to go. If you want to learn more about geometry, I have an intro to geometry folder for Joanne's school that you might want to check out. I also have a geometry one if you want to go higher into middle school and high school level. So, I'll see you the next video, and we'll keep talking about geometry.